All right, this is Patrick Rogers, and today we have the privilege to have Michael Bloxton on the show. And Michael is the founder and CEO of Nebula Space Enterprise. Welcome to the show, Michael. Thank you for having me, Patrick. Yeah, absolutely. So, so Michael Bloxton, he self-made telecom finance real estate investor, is now the founder and CEO of Nebula Space Enterprise Inc. And he's launched five Nebula subsidiaries with a mission to provide humans with access to deep space and infinite resources. And each organization plays a pivotal role in phase one of this great plan that seeks to not only help preserve Earth and its precious resources, but propel humanity into a thriving future. So Michael, I, I cannot wait to dive into what you're doing, your journey and, and your impact. That it, uh, I can't wait for that. Before we get to that, what's one interesting fact that not many people know about you? Um, I am robustly positive and optimistic. Someone said um, in jest, and it stuck for quite some time, that I puke rainbows. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, I love that. I puke yeah. rainbows. I was like, that's that's a really good thing. And they they I think they meant it negatively, and I took it obviously positively because I puke uh, rainbows. Very cool. Very cool. And, and there's something to be said for that, right? Because what we what we think is is how we feel and our emotions, and how we feel in our emotions is what we do. Yes. And, and we create our future. No, that's fantastic, man. So so all right, Michael, tell us what, it, what tell us about Nebula. Tell us about your companies. What are you doing, man? So, so the audience here are fellow CEOs, right? People yep. that are yep up and coming leaders and CEOs. Yep. So, from a leadership position, um, my personal opinion, and we're going to you know dissect this multiple ways throughout this uh, episode, um, is vision is required. Vision is to me one of the first things you need to identify. We'll talk about mm. you know how that relates to talent, how that yeah. relates to activities and yeah. uh, to dos and priorities. Yeah, vision uh, to me is is significant, and I didn't have the vision of providing all of humanity access to deep space and infinite resources until I got to a point in my own life where, you know, if you think about Maslow's hierarchy of needs, I had sure. su some success. I had right. some success right. that gave me time to think about. What do I actually want to spend the rest of my life doing? Yeah. Pile that on with having my first son and realizing mm. he he deserves a better future than my my own, um, mm. or or what what I was going to have if I don't participate actively mm. participate. Mm. Those ingredients allowed me to sit and think through what's the vision that I want to create, and mm. to me that is um, is why Nebula exists today, uh, and literally mm. uh, actually. There you go. So here's a book, um, ABCs of Science, which is clearly for my son and not for yeah, me. Right. And uh, the N is nebula. And in that, the definition of nebula is where stars are born, is a, a, one of the definitions of a nebula. And that's why the company is called Nebula, because the Interesting. Idea, yeah. Um, you're the first time, first time I actually pulled this book out. It's been sitting there forever. That's cool, um, man. That's a, that's a cool story. L little things like that. It was at the end of the book. I was reading it to my son or whatever. And there it was. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, I was at this point where I was thinking about, you know, doing this big, big, big thing. No idea how to do it. I don't have any, nothing you read about my mm. bio has any background. I'm not an aerospace engineer. I don't have any aerospace expertise. I don't even have any deep tech expertise whatsoever.